You are now tuned in to Heat Check with Ty Slatter and Antonio Turner right here on GTA Sports Network. Follow GTA Sports Network on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram. Subscribe to the YouTube channel, GTA Sports. And don't forget GTASportsNet.com for all things in the world of sports. The New York Knicks won the trade deadline. Did you expect me to say anything other than I have the list in front of me right now of all the trades that were made prior to the 2024 NBA trade deadline. And the New York Knicks came out on top. The goal of a trade deadline, in my honest opinion, is to figure out what missing pieces you had going into the All-Star break. If you're a contender or a dark horse, which is at the very bottom of a contender list. Once you figure out what pieces you're missing, which players are injured, what your timetables look like, you fill in the blank and you fill in those holes that are missing on your roster. Understand what I'm saying. The New York Knicks at this time, as the recording of this video, the New York Knicks are sitting at number four in the East. The only teams they have above them are the Milwaukee Bucks, Cleveland Cavaliers, and the Boston Celtics. Now understand, the Knicks aren't going to catch the Celtics unless they just have an abysmal meltdown coming out of All-Star break. The Cavaliers are still retooling with the potential of moving Donovan Mitchell this summer. I'm going to do a different video on that, so don't worry about that. So make sure you follow GTA Sports Network and GTA Heat Check. And like, comment, subscribe, and turn your notification bell for updates. This one's about the Knicks, though. I want to make sure you understand what I'm saying when I say the Knicks won the NBA trade down. And I don't like the fact that ESPN is jumping on the bandwagon now. I want to give a shout once again to CP the franchise over at Knicks Fan TV, CK2K, Mill Media, Knicks Ish TV, all of my fellow NY that yeah, keep it authentic and drop all the updates on what's going on in Madison Square Garden. Now, me being from Indianapolis, Indiana, I, you know, I, I I go to the source. ESPN is just, they go whatever's hot at the moment. Knicks are trending upward, so now they want to talk about them. Now, Stephen A wants to get on the bandwagon, but that's, I'm not even going to dive into that. They picked up Alec Burke, Bojan Bogdanovic. They sent Evan Fournier to the Pistons, Malachi Flynn, Malachi Flynn Quentin Grimes. And at the end of the day, they won. They won. Uh, it may not sound like much to the casual NBA person, but they didn't give up any first round picks for this. They still have eight first round picks. Shout out to Leon Rose. Shout out to the front office in New York City. All right. What you did, there should be a master class and it needs to be studied. The league needs to take notes on what the New York Knicks just did. And if you're asking why those names are so significant to what the Knicks are about to do, Julius Randle is still waiting his time out about his shoulder injury to see how long he's going to miss. Mitchell Robinson is still out, I believe, with a bad ankle. And OG Anobi has what they call an elbow spur, so they don't know what the timetable is on that. So you got some injuries to some key players that were making a major push coming to the postseason in support of the leader Jalen Brunson on the scoring with Dante DiVincenzo, Josh Hart, so on and so forth. Uh, moving Quentin Grimes was inevitable. I mean, Young still has a high ceiling of potential. Um, the, Knicks, the Knicks are essentially saying we want to win now. Because um, keep in mind, those eight first-round picks can be used to lure a superstar to New York this summer. There are a lot of superstar free agents that are going to be on the market this summer. And New York's looking real enticing. We're talking Big Apple, big market. They got the cap space. They got the picks. The Knicks are in position no matter where they finish this year in the postseason, whether it's first, second conference finals or even the NBA finals, dare I say it. Not to jinx anything. But they have the potential to make it as far as the sky's the limit. As far as Jalen wants to lead and take them with OG on defense and, and giving you buckets and the the Villanova Knicks, or they call them the Nova Knicks. Shout out to Tom Thibodeau for, for taking 
all the hits in the beginning when people didn't believe he was the guy to get him there. Some people still don't. Um, but with his pedigree and what he's been able to do with this team since I've been covering NBA in the last three, four years, I'm impressed. And that's coming from somebody who's watching my Pacers do the same thing, you know, and I'll do a separate video on what they did to trade deadline uh, because there's so much to cover. And, and I know y'all tennis fans only this long. So shout out to the Knicks, man. I just want to give y'all props real quick. Um, you won the trade deadline. Don't let anybody tell you different. Um, there are some other good, great moves that were made by other franchises that are in need of a, a shakeup on the roster, but the New York Knicks won the trade deadline. You heard it here first. I don't care what they're talking about on ESPN, none of that, because they're bandwagon. I've been watching what they've been doing in New York City for the, really since the pandemic, because that's when I first started following uh, Knicks Fan TV. Shout out to CP the franchise for that, and, and everybody else, Mills Media, CK2K, uh, Knicks-ish. Uh, all, all my all my NY, you know, reporters and analysts that break it down and give us the real when it comes to New York City. So make sure you find me Ty Slatter. This has been a quick ISO mode trade deadline edition. The New York Knicks won the trade deadline. Until next time, take care.